Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here today. And we are going to make a wonderful, wonderful four layer dessert today. And you are going to love this one. I got this recipe from one of the guys that I used to work with, his wife. Lori always made wonderful desserts and sent them to work with him and we all got to enjoy them. And this is one of her recipes that she sent to work one day and I said, oh my word, I've got to have this recipe. So they shared it with me and I am going to share it with you guys today. So the first thing we're gonna do is get started on the crust. So I have a 13 by nine pan. And you know what, I'm not going to dirty another bowl. I'm just going to mix this whole thing in here. In here I have one cup of flour and I'm just going to dump it right into my pan. And then to the flour, I'm going to add three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. And then to that, I'm going to add one half cup of finely chopped pecans. So that goes in. And then the last thing I'm going to add to this is one and a half sticks of melted butter. So I'm just gonna pour that in there. And this is going to be our crust. And I'm gonna get all the butter out of there because we know butter makes everything better, right? So now I'm just going to, let me move this stuff out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to mix this up in here. And then once it's all mixed up, I'm just going to press it around the bottom of the pan. And I have my oven preheating 350 degrees. And then we're going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. And again, everybody's oven's different, but you just watch it and you could start with 15 minutes unless your oven heats a little bit hotter than most. Okay, so I think this is mixed up good. And so now I'm just gonna press it into the bottom of the dish. So there we go. We have our crust all spread out in the bottom of our 13 by nine. And now I'm gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes or until golden brown. Okay, so while our crust is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get started on layer number two, which is eight ounces of softened cream cheese. So we'll dump that in our happy little bowl. Okay, and then to that, we're going to add one cup of powdered sugar. That went in. And one cup of extra creamy Cool Whip. Not the regular, you want the extra creamy. So we're gonna add one cup of extra creamy Cool Whip to this. And then we're going to just mix all of this together and this will become our second layer. Got to get all that goodness in there, you know. Okay. So one cup of extra creamy cool. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just going to mix this together until it's blended. Okay, we have our second layer done and we will add it to the crust once it's cooled. So now let's work on the third layer. Okay, so now we're gonna do the third layer and that is the chocolate pudding, okay? So I have two of the small boxes of the Jell-O Instant Chocolate Pudding Mix. 
And I'm just going to put that in our bowl. And then I'm going to put one more in. And you guys, this dessert is so yummy. You're going to love it. It's really, really good. Okay, so we have two packages of the chocolate jello instant pudding and then i'm going to add four cups of whole milk so there's two and there we go two more and then we're just going to mix this until it's thick That's the beauty of using a glass bowl is that you can see the parts that you don't have mixed in yet so you can get those as well. Make sure everything's well blended together. Okay, so we're going to let this set for about five minutes and firm up and then once our crust is cool then we'll start the layering process. So this is layer number three, and then we'll put four on when it's done. Okay, this is what our crust looks like once it comes out of the oven. So you see it's still a little bit light in color. So it's not super dark, but the edges are nice and brown, okay? So now we're gonna start layering our dessert, and we're gonna start with the cream cheese filling. So we're going to put that in here and then just spread it edge to edge of your pan. Okay, we're just going to make an even layer of the cream cheese mixture. Just spread it edge to edge all over. Okay, now we're going to do layer number three, which is the chocolate pudding. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Oh, this pudding smells wonderful. And you just want to spread the pudding edge to edge as well. Okay. There we go. And you know what? I'm not going to use all of this because I am not using my deep dish 13 by 9 today. I have just the normal 13 by 9, but I know that I still have to do a layer of Cool Whip on top. Extra creamy Cool Whip goes right on top of the pudding. Okay. And this is the rest of the container that I had left over after taking out the one cup that we put in the cream cheese filling. But I do have another container because I want plenty of this creamy Cool Whip on top and I want it to go edge to edge. So let me open up this one and we're going to go ahead and use it. So I'm going to just add more of the extra creamy Cool Whip to the top. And you want to make sure all your chocolate pudding is underneath this. And you guys, this is a wonderful dessert. You know, if you're having a potluck at church or a picnic, or you know a Bible study small group situation and you're supposed to bring a dessert people love this it is so so good so it's you know a little process because of the steps that you have to take but it's delicious so and you're worth it so why not do it so then just to top it off I have some very finely chopped pecans 
And when you're making dishes, it's nice to put on top what's inside because it helps people know because you know some people do have nut allergies and so they would know oh I, I don't want that you know if they can't have it so just a sprinkling of very finely chopped pecans and remember we put pecans in our crust then I'm also going to add the mini chocolate chips to the top because it's a chocolate dessert so we're just going to add in our mini chocolate chips to cover the top here and this looks really pretty and then we're just going to put it in the refrigerator and just let it set up for about three hours before you serve it but this is one of those things that you know if you know you have an event say tomorrow night make it today and then just cover it put it in your refrigerator and when you come home from work tomorrow it's ready to go you're you're good to go so you might want to do that look at how pretty that looks and i know it's going to be delicious but let me tell you something else if you want to make this same dessert, you can change up your puddings, okay? But it, like, for example, you could do this with banana pudding, but if I was using banana pudding for my crust instead of pecans, I would be using finely chopped walnuts. And then on top of it, to top it off, I would top it with very finely diced up walnuts. And then you could slice some fresh bananas to put on top but just before you're starting to serve it because again you know that bananas will turn so just as soon as you're ready to serve it slice up a fresh banana on top with those walnuts it'll be beautiful and your guests are going to love it so experiment with it take your favorite flavor vanilla pudding butterscotch pudding coconut cream you could do coconut cream and then put toasted coconut on top that would be delicious if I was doing that I would use pecans in the crust but there's all sorts of different combinations you can do of this dessert and it'd be like you'd be bringing a brand new dessert every time because you could change up the flavor so anyway you guys go have a wonderful rest of your day I love you guys and we'll see you again real soon God bless you